God's amazing grace is not for just some, it's for everybody. I'm going to go back and read it all over again. It is a very good book. I'm just waiting on the sequel. My son says to me every Sunday morning, you tell a story. Every Sunday morning, you stand in the pulpit and you tell the great stories about, you know, the Bible, your mm -hmm. messages. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, one of my members, she told me this morning, she said, Pastor, you should. And I just started thinking about all of my experiences, all the things my mom had told me, uh, my grandmother had shared with me. And I just said, I'm going to tell you. And that's the design. So that's what it was that we worked out God's amazing ways. I think I read that book in about two and a half days because I just couldn't put it down. It was just that good. Well, really, I wanted to see what was going to happen next. It was just so interesting that I couldn't just I couldn't put it down. I just um, I was amazed to see how they went through so much and they relied on God to bring them through whatever. Mm -hmm. And they was such, they had so much faith. Sometimes it made me and cry. It made me laugh. I felt a little sad at times and happy. It, it was just just going through all kinds of emotions. Uh, yeah, I had to put it down, but I couldn't wait to pick it back up. So I was really interested in getting your book. And then when my aunt told, I called her, I said, do you know she's going to, her book is out. I've heard about it. Are you going to get it? And she said, well, yeah, I'm going to get it for you for Christmas. This book, um, his grace, you know, it did span four generations. I mean, usually you can hear a family have a story of this happened during this generation, but to happen generation after generations, and it's just different, you know, reading how your family was raised and different from my generation. What sets, separates it from fiction is that there's usually a happy ending, and a lot of times there weren't always happy endings in this, and this is the truth. I need to put this on Oprah. You really do. This is a great book for her. I think she would enjoy it. I really do. So it's great. And, and then there's, there's so many things that, you know, I thought the book was so well put together because I've read a book of a few other local authors within probably a year prior to reading this book. The people that don't know what happened in their family, their family history, to read this book, I believe out of all the African American people, there's something in our family history that probably relates to what's in this book here. Mm -hmm. If our young people will read this book open-minded, they'll see there's a lot of wisdom and knowledge in this book. And those who have purchased the book have really enjoyed the book. They was just like me, mm -hmm. were unable to put it down, really, because uh, as you finish one chapter, you're just waiting to get into the next one. You know, yeah. you're thinking, well, if I finish this chapter, I'll, 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 I'll leave it alone come back to it later. Yeah. But when you finish that chapter, you, you, you can't help just going over into the other chapter. Yeah. No matter what I put my hands on to do, I would see it through. And it would be to my satisfaction. I'm the one that has to look at it, has to live with it. <laughs>